here is another day and out in eastern Pennsylvania and I did manage to ride right around the edges of that road and end up coming out here this way it is uh, tight streets yeah I was a bit a little nervous I can imagine a professional driver gets a little nervous what about a new beginner a beginner is really gonna screw up everything and that's what's gonna happen now Eastern Pennsylvania I'm picking up some boxes here and these are pretty light boxes now these are boxes that are individually put place in the trailer by hand and I'm assuming they are on pallets if it is on pallets by all means that's an easy part for me but if it's not on pallets and who is going to do the unloading well that's something we need to find out but until we get there that is about two days of driving so I probably won't be able to wait until to tell you guys if it's an unload by me or is an unload by the employees of the warehouse well that's something we don't know yet but just in case you guys get to see this video and then we don't know what's that we or them well there ain't nothing special about the weather you can see the weather itself that's just cloudy and gray can you tell between the difference if it's 5 p.m. or 8 a.m. no you can't just because we got clocks in our hands we can see that it is morning or afternoon well it's been like that for a long time no idling diesel powered vehicles over five tons act one two four of two zero zero eight now that is a problem isn't it and muddy isn't it well shut the engine off for about two hours and that's just gonna stay cold now it's gonna take me about another 20 minutes to warm the engine up right that's what we need to do so that means we have to wait well I hope they're done because if they're not done then I'm just stuck if they're gonna look for me they're gonna find me out here in the top of the hill trying to make some conversation I want to have with you guys well as soon as we're done here we're gonna be heading over towards Indiana uh, things went pretty well now according to my analyzation since last year I would say that we had a great run we pretty much did not have any roadside assistance we did not have a breakdown on the roadside so everything was managed everything was maintained pretty well but hopefully this year we're looking about the same thing we need to do I want to make sure that everything goes well this well this year alone we had about since I was out for two months just approximately two months so we did have that over the road inspection in one of the states I don't recall it well, now that's said and done coming back um, when we are out of here I want to make sure that everything goes well I do really need to take photos inside the trailer so I always do that because that way I protect myself and several times in the past several years I did go through that so and it saved my life and it will save your life so go right ahead take photos guys I'll be back the guys out there calling me and we'll see you over the road let's go come on yeah I'm just gonna take a look few things before I leave I'm all done actually I was right they're, they're all complete and finished gonna have to do a few checkpoints here before I head out he gave me the key for me to go ahead and unlock the airline so I'm gonna go ahead and put this airline up here
I'm going to have to take this back and give it to him. I always get to put some papers up here. I don't want to get the truck dirty. Now I'm going to have to release the brakes. And I'm going to have to release the brake also. I'm going to drop the steering wheel down a little bit. And I'm going to maneuver right around here and I'm going to pull to the left side. Then we're going to buckle the doors up and lock the doors and head out. See, I was quite a bit right because the engine is a bit of cold, so we need to get that 150, but that's all right. This is a pretty strong engine. Thing is like a hard rock, rock and roll type engine. He's so strong. Sometimes it won't hurt the engine if you move from here over there about 20 feet when it's cold. Now, we don't want to idle and drive and go far out over the hills and the mountains because that's not what we want to do because then otherwise we'll crack something in the engine and we don't want that. That will hurt you and me and the truck. The phone is ringing. Yeah, that was them. They uh, wanted to confirm that I was uh, complete and ready to go. So here, basically, we're going to go ahead and Make sure nice and easy we're going to turn because we don't want any boxes to fall from the back. Because I really don't know if they did really uh, put all the lock bars here. But now once I pull up here, we're going to be all set and ready to go. Wow, they got some real nice pallets out here. It's pretty uh, pressurized. The water resistance, solid wood. Not bad at all, and we got some uh, fresh, fresh cardboards. Well, that's it. I'm done, and I'm going to go back in and take a look at the boxes, take some photos to protect my end and protect the customer. I'll be right back, and we're going to head right out, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. some pictures and uh, secure the load now we're gonna go ahead and run down the hill from here and we're gonna jump on 33 north then we're gonna jump on the 80 west we're going to stop by and grab ourselves a nice hot cup of, you know what that is. Three, two, one, you got that right. You are the winner. Coffee. going to go ahead that way. Well, 
that's for you guys. I want to make sure I cleaned it real good. This went along perfectly well as planned. So we will proceed with our next destination. Once again, it's in Indiana. About 594 miles. We will cover approximately 200 miles today. And we will cover the rest the next day. Wednesday morning will be our termination. I will go over that in a bit, a little later on. My GPS is giving me something else and I'm, I'm not pretty thrilled that I'm getting that kind of information. That's not the way to go. We're going to make a right turn right here. Okay, so what are we doing here right now is just kick our boots up on the heels and just relax because that's what I am going to do, guys. That's right, I just shut this thing off and we're going to relax because I am done. Well, most of you guys know this place. Is it familiar? Take a look. All the chalk face to us, and we are looking the hills. Come on, guys, guess. Three, two, one. Uh, it's Brookville, Pennsylvania. Brookville, Pennsylvania. Its um, population is not much, but. Woo! But I'll tell you something. Glad to be back. Well, well, let's see what we got here. You know, guys, Z. Yeah, you're going to tell me. I know you're going to tell me something, but I don't want to really hear it because I know that you're, you want to tell me that somebody's moving out of the state and they're leaving for good, right? I know that. I know that. Hey, you know what? Maybe it's all for the good at the end. Hey, hey, I got a little funny, uh, a funny video. My last video was kind of like weird, right? I mean, there was too much driving 
but not right to the point. But at the end, we're going down to the farm, so that was kind of like interesting, right? Unfortunately, uh, how interesting would it get to you guys? I don't know, but to me it was very interesting because going through those rough roads were kind of tough. But <clears throat> anyway, um, I got a comment from uh, Frederick. Frederick Nolan. You know, I've been I've been thinking about you, Frederick. It's it's been a while. I haven't heard from you, and I was a bit concerned about you. And I'm glad that you got back to me. So now I'm not concerned anymore. And we we're talking about this farm rides and your dad with the Volkswagen. When, well, you know what? That's um, that's a nice old history. You gotta tell me what year was that? I'm interested in that. Which year was that? And. Um, I want to say hello to you back. Well, now that I'm here in Brookville, Pennsylvania, so I'll say hello to you from Brooklyn, not Brooklyn, Brookville, Pennsylvania. Well, I'm assuming last time I talked to you, you were in recovery, and I hope you're getting well. My best, uh, best wishes to you, and get well soon. And coming back with watch out for the jackalopes. Jackalopes. I'll try to watch out, okay? I promise you. Um, but other than that, I haven't run into any <laughs> jackalopes lately. So, um, other than that, my other video, it was the 25 cents spring. Uh, actually, Frederick, you're correct. Actually, the spring that I drilled the hole in was the on the top section of the hinge, but on the bottom of the section there was a hole actually so I had to look at it very carefully because here I am looking at it and it did really work so I did find the hole on the bottom and I did put the uh, the edge of the spring ran it through right through that hole and made a nice little loop nut and it secured it now the hinge is working much better well, I want to say thank you again for giving me heads up and for me to look into that. And it did work. Thank you again. Whew, so, got another minute to go. Over the weekend, guys, I made it home and everything went well. So, we got ourselves a nice birthday party. Everybody was happy. Uh, my, my kids were happy. Everybody else was happy. Um, we had a wonderful time. We had plenty of guests, and some of the beautiful things with it was amazing. Not we, but they. My wife, my mother-in-law, is my family. And they all prepared it, and they had an awesome time. Well, it's good. Anyway, so I'm going to go. I have about 30 minutes for myself. And then I will continue tomorrow morning. Another 350 miles to my location. So the place that I'm going once again. I think I did do a video on that. And I'm going to go back and take a look. Which year was that? So fellas, until then... Trucker Buck from Brookville, Pennsylvania. You all take care of yourselves. Subscribe, share, and like. Pass the word. The Outback Trucker Buck is coming a new way. So keep your eyes open. When you see me, honk the horn or wave. Until then, you all have a nice night. Sweet dreams. And for those not sleeping, good morning. And you have a wonderful day. Chuck a buck, out.